I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals and life science graduates on how they can make career into pharmaceutical industry. Till date, we have guided and trained more than 500 students and many of them are now placed into various companies also under my guidance. Also, I want to tell you that beware of fake people who are operating under the name of Career in Pharma or by my name. So to connect with us, please see the description below for all the links and also you can see the mail ID provided in the description box. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. Today in this video, I will talk about a very interesting topic and by the end of this video, you will get a surprise and this video can be an eye opener for you because this information no one is going to tell you which I am going to discuss in this video today through a small story of my own. Yes, so let's begin the video. So you must have heard uh, about a very famous saying that don't go by books. And I know that you all know what does it mean. Don't go by books means not always you have to follow whatever is written you have to go by rules or you have to strictly follow the norms yes so with this i just want to share one of my story it's my own real story so in 2017 when i was deciding for career change and i was looking for job and uh, my first job was into iqvia as a pharmaco vigilance associate safety associate trainee so I saw the post about IQVIA opening in Facebook and uh, I was a part of some community I don't remember exactly but in that post it was mentioned that only graduates who completed graduation in 2017, 16 and 15 are eligible and it was also mentioned that life science graduates are eligible nowhere BDS degree was mentioned. And I was, I completed my BDS in 2009. So if I could have gone through the, you know, just by the statement of whatever is written, I would have followed that, then definitely I would not have got this opportunity of working in Ancubia in 2017. So I ignored whatever written in that post and I applied without any expectations and applied and I got interview call also and I came to interview from Noida to Bangalore just I gave interview I came to Bangalore just to give interview and to my surprise I cleared the interview also at a very first go. Now moral of the story is don't go by books always. So with this to all life science graduate and healthcare professionals let me tell you one thing that pharmaceutical industry like it's a vast industry i'm not talking about production part or manufacturing part but inside pharmaceutical industry the clinical research domain inside clinical research domain or any vertical of clinical research domain and pharmacovigilance as a healthcare professional and life science graduate you can apply Definitely in few areas, they prefer healthcare professionals more or they prefer life science graduates more. Leave this decision up to company or recruiters, but my request to all life science graduate and healthcare professionals will be, please apply default unless and until it is written that any specific degree holder are not eligible. Otherwise, if it's written, life science graduates any life science graduate or healthcare professionals are eligible then being a healthcare professional like pharmacy graduates biotechnology graduates dentist physiotherapist bams bhms bums mbbs you all can apply you all come under health science healthcare professionals and also if it's written just life science graduate also then also being a healthcare professional you can apply and for life science graduates, you know, any any person who is BSc in geology botany, they can also apply. Definitely at the end, if it's suitable as per your degree graduation, that company will decide. But first step, just apply default. Don't go by books. 
other things sometimes it will be mentioned the year of passing graduation completion you can you know avoid that part also you can ignore that part also just apply unless and until it is strictly saying no then no need to apply third thing is age is not a bar inside pharmaceutical industry or for that matter any corporate industry so never have this thing in your mind that i am already 35 plus or maybe you know approaching towards 40s or maybe into your 40s and who will give me job i am not eligible and blah 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 things whatever coming to your mind please keep all your thoughts aside and just apply deep for you never know from where you will get call some day any interview call and you should be applying in a frequency that you should forget actually where you apply from where you are getting call that kind of frequency you should be having you know to apply for job okay so i hope uh, now this is clear to all of you what does it mean don't go by books Uh, specifically if you are looking for a job inside pharmaceutical industry for clinical research and pharmacovigilance domain so don't just go by the job notification or the description unless and until it's strictly saying no to your degree otherwise just apply default and once again all the best best wishes from career in pharma in your job hunt process and definitely if you are desperately looking for a job and actively working in that direction one day you will also get a job uh, and that is a surety from my end definitely you will get just be consistent focus and work on a daily basis towards this direction yes with this i am going to conclude this video and if this video is really an eye opener for you uh, in the way whatever i mentioned then please 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 share our channel to your friends also and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel we'll be coming soon with some fresh next video till then i stay safe healthy aware and updated thank you